think it was to find a way to bring him back or something like that, wasn't it? Uh, yes, I think it was Jessabella Leopold Strauss. And I cannot read what I've written. Lorenes? Lorenes? Lovenes? Something like that. So, I don't know, it's like, if just, I don't guess I just. Uh, see if I can figure out who they are through any means, <laughs> I guess. I mean, Hunted Down Ace is probably the best bet for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, do you still have his coin? Oh, another coin! Yes, I do still have his another coin. <laughs> Funnily enough, it's my uh, my lucky charm for when I'm disadvantaged. Which oh, yeah. we don't have to worry about. Um, but yeah, talking about that coin, Acer's coin, outside of certain circumstances, so the Sanctum is one. Um, Aflatorin's Sanctum is one. I think that's about it, actually. Derelict Town? No, it worked in Derelict Town. Yeah, hey, um, Outside of Aflatorian's Sanctum and I think the uh, the spring, the cursed spring of Losha, Acer can use it as a little speed device. So the next time you guys see Acer, he'll have a surprising knowledge of everything you just did. Oh, well, that's Thanks. fun. Thanks, Bia. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> But yeah, so the next time you like you would go talk to Acer, I think he'll bring it up. I think he'll like. I think it might be a point of like he just talks about it and he's like, yeah, yeah, that time we we're in Derelict. Wait, how do you know that? What can I say? I have eyes and ears everywhere. At the bottom of the ocean in a cursed town. You said that they're not me. So yeah, uh, Acer has is in the know. Um. So that might be what something you want to talk about during the month off. Uh, I do have plans for group slides, like so, sort of like um, you know, like the royal slide and the uh, breakpoint slide and stuff like that. I do have ideas Hi. for group slides. So like while the new people are building their characters and such and zero, you guys will have like I don't know, like three or so slides. No, you don't get to choose, uh, <laughs> mostly because I want to be precise with them. Mm -hmm. uh, that. They'll, as characters, be privy to, but I guess it'll be more in the lines of you guys will be the ones doing it, and maybe their characters as well. Oh, wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that, like, one for each of them? That'd be cool. I'm put that in my notes. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> me. I'm also gonna get a snapshot of this thing. It's a really good summary of, like, our entire adventure. How do you spell Apple Torn again? Oh, which part do you need? Which part, do you, which part do you need? Helping with things like that. Thank Torians. Athatorians. Also, yeah. confession: up until two months, uh, two weeks ago, I legit thought it was Apple Torans. <laughs> I thought it was Apple, like with a f sound, not Af. Yeah. A Athol Torians. Yeah, yeah. I think he spells it out, and I was just like, oh god, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> yeah, it's taken from uh, Warhammer. Warhammer elves in their in Warhammer fantasy call their cities Athol something. Oh, okay. So this is like I thought it'd be a nice homage as the capital of the aquatic elves. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the high elves do that. Uh, not not consistently, at least. Not every city has apple or something. It probably just means city of blank or some shit like that when translated, mm -hmm. but uh, at my award, it's just apple is apple. So yeah, uh, so you want to look into the names, uh, type that out to me, and then in the private channel, anything else? Or do you just want to dedicate solely to these three names? Yeah, I think that would be on our minds, I think, the most. Um... I can't think of anything right now. <sighs> yeah, I think it, we'll just stick with that. We'll just stick with that. Okay. Like, tracking them down. Um, if you think of anything in the time off, then you'll feel free to shoot it up to me. Uh, the more... It's like this. The more time you dedicate to old, like, things... or the, the less things there are, the more time you're able to dedicate to them. And certain things, I would say, require either a certain amount of time or a certain amount of effort or ease of access, so to speak. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'll try and come up with some more stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, if you just want to still dedicate to this, then yeah, I'm, I'm 100 percent okay with that, and you'll get a good bit of a good chunk of information. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, it's just uh, yeah. up to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. 
No worries. Um, before I jump off as well, because it's getting quite close to living, um, I am yeah. working next week, but I'm going to jump on on my way home, so I'll be late. But uh, we're just going to probably have session zero for character creation stuff uh, for the mini shots next week. Oh, okay, okay. So, 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 so yeah, you're, you're fine. Um, we'll just do your I character will be late as well. Um, my work God, goes fuck. until 11 my time. God Three damn hours it. after yeah. start. Three hours after start? Yeah, unless I can uh, get damn. them to swap my schedule around. I'm, I'm asking. God damn I haven't gotten back. God damn it. Why y'all be doing this to me? Sorry. How, how late would you be, Kirsty? So we know Fred is um, I get off work at about half eight. I'm probably not going to get no, no. I get out of work at half seven. Sorry, but I won't get out of the building until about eight. What time um, there for you? Uh, seven. Okay, so an hour and a half or so. Yeah, and I could just join on my phone, like coming home. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's the worst. I will have to like go away for about half an hour though to shower. Is the only thing. Um, yeah, that's why I said an hour and a half. To, um, listen yeah, yeah, yeah. while I'm working. I mean, the thing is, like, it's just, like, character creation stuff. Uh, yeah. And I do have something in mind, because I imagine it won't take you guys six hours to do character creation, so... Never say <laughs> never, right? Yeah, yeah, never say never. I mean, we're introducing new character or new players entirely, so... Maybe. True. 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 Mm -hmm. Fair enough. But yeah, I, I, I... If you guys have time left over, like, an hour or a couple hours or so... I do have I do have plans to do something if we have that much spare time. If not, then we just end like an hour early or some shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If that's all, then you feel free to hop off, Chris. I know you gotta wake up early in the morning, and we will see you next yeah. week at a later time. Honestly, you, like an hour. Like we're we'll be probably done shooting the shits in that hour. Actually, no, we might be character green at that time because it's really easy. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Okay. No worries. All right, see you later. Feel free to send over what characters, it's like what you guys are doing, because I don't think anyone has any idea what they're doing yet. Yeah, yeah, I know what I want to try it, or I don't know what I want to do with it is the only thing. Uh, I'm making uh. a um, knowledge domain cleric. Okay, so we have one. Um, yeah. Oh, I think he's making an augmenter. Uh, o is O is O has a number of different ideas. I have. I want to say like a thematic I idea, but I don't know oh, I how to build it yet. So I'm going to wait to see what the dice rolls end up being. Mm -hmm. So to answer question, not really an idea, now. Well, the thing is, like, that, that might work in other games. It doesn't work so well in my games because you could just shuffle your numbers around. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's right. It was, uh, good night. <laughs> good night. I was thinking about maybe trying the Mystic. The oh, one that is hyper critiqued. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so to uh, we'll start with Fred because he's the E one here. Uh, Fred, anything you have in mind for court? Also, I close roll twenty. Feels bad. Um, anything oh. you want uh, court to do during the month time? Uh, as for the, your new character, we'll probably talk about that as we make the character. Okay. Um, um, I don't know when he shows up, and also don't know where he's from. If he's provincial or yeah. native, so to speak. Yeah, so, yeah I, I don't know. I, I got some, some stuff to think about. That Honestly, you don't have to think thing. about it. But I'm just wondering if Cork wants to do anything, or if he, if Cork is just gonna basically just hang out with Lorelai. I think the one thing that Cork would do is he would try and um. A bit of self improvement. He would want to work towards Overwatch, the fighting style. He had more uses of his reaction. Overwatch? Overwatch is range based, I believe. Protection uh, fighting styles. No? Fighting style? Overwatch? Yeah. That's what it says right here. Oh, on the I'm thinking. I think you're thinking of Longwatch. You're thinking watch. Long Watch. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Let's see, Overwatch. I had that okay. down in my book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I see no problem with that. If you want, I, I already know the cor oh, no. cork up. I'm confusing it with the other one that, um, what's the one? Ward. That's yeah, the Ward one is the one where you get a second reaction. Or, that's you, not, not a second reaction. You you can do as many attacks of opportunity as you have extra attack. Yeah. I see no he, problem with that. Yeah, Ward he would try to work towards, and then he would just, uh, you know, 
teach old Lorelai around town. Teach her about anything she's curious about. I imagine um, after Lena gave a strict talking to about how you guys can't just bring home princesses without some sort of forewarning uh, and and how uh, much paperwork this is going to be to change your status from expeditionary to bodyguard because you're back out of the forest without being crippled. Uh, you know, she's just going to be like, just get out. <laughs> Show her around, and then Varric is like, I know exactly the place, and you guys go get breakfast burritos, which I have one right here. Right here. And then he'd probably just want to spend some re actual quality time uh, with Lorelai, take her on some proper date. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's what the problem that's for. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got for him. Okay, fair enough. All right, what about uh, Rose? So here's my five pages of shit that I want. No. I get three. <laughs> three pages? Alright. No, I, I have three items. A few things. Uh what priorities does she have for it? I think the first thing she want to look into is like whatever information she could like get from people that fought Scornkin. Like Oh, you just talk to literally any first waiver then. Yeah, pretty much. But like People that look back on the fight and like know what they're doing in the fight and realize like things that they wish they had known. If that makes sense, like what do you, you wish you had known before you fought these fuckers? You have still successfully described every first waiver. Ah, fuck it. Remember, Varric isn't trying to be over. I mean, he is overzealous in his description of first waivers, but every first waiver has earned their place here. Like. Civilians are only half, so everyone that's fought in the Night of Tempest has fucking gone through thick and thin and is a valued warrior. Mm. Like, first waivers are not pushover. They're the equivalencies of the fucking guys in the tower we gotta deal with on Thursday. Hmm. You know? Like, the civilians still even did stuff to help in the war efforts. Like, equivalencies of, like, your hometown, because it literally is, is being besieged. If you don't help in the military effort, you die with it. So... Yeah. You really could spend talk to a number of different people. Oris and Darshi have one way of into it. Darren has a way into it. Lane and Lane have a way into it. Eric and Abigail have a way into it. There's a bunch of people I could list on and on, and you could get information from them. But the thing is, even the information they have isn't super insightful. Score and Kent are mutatively different. Like, there's not a singular thing that they would tell you other than kill it dead. That they're evil. That they eat people. So it's like, oh, they're all fast. Not all of them are fast. Some of them are really slow. Oh, they all use weapons. Not all of them. Some of them just use their fucking bare hands and teeth. If anything, that would probably be the biggest thing you take away from it, is that Scorn can have drastic amount of difference between tribes. Some of them they saw could turn spiritual. So you're fighting equivocally ghosts. Oh, like you mean spiritual, like tran not trans ethereal. Sorry. Yeah, ethereal, not like spiritual, like I praise Jesus. That'd be religious, not spiritual. I asked about Vindred because Rose was interested in him, but I don't know if he's here, so I don't know where that's gonna go. Ah, <laughs> uh, Vindred ain't interested. Anyways, I can tell you that for free. Yeah. Anyways. Uh. Vindred is married to his work. Fair enough. Uh, Just like Lena and Varric. Hmm. Funny how that genetic trait gets passed test down. Just kidding. Vindred's adopted. Uh, I'll get to it later, though. Uh, oh, I'm not sure if you're in a capacity for, uh, Ruhan. I imagine not. Yeah, again, you guys have, like, a month, maybe a bit more than that, because we probably might have to take a break towards Christmas time or some Hanukkah shit. Um, yeah, I, I got something to think about. We probably won't begin this campaign and come back to this campaign until next year. Yeah, it's or right before right before next year at best. Uh, this is on the calendar. Yeah. So next week is session zero. Three three 
Yeah, fucking the 26th, I don't think anyone will... Wait a minute. When's Christmas? When's Christmas Eve? 20th. The 24th, 25th? 24th For is me, Eve. the 24th. 24th. Yeah. Okay, it's 24, 25. Okay, I was like, 25, 26. I'm like, no, I don't remember there being a 6 in there. Yeah, so and Sweden celebrates on the 24th. Yeah, I know it's a difference of like if you celebrate the festivities on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, and that changes from region to region and family to family. Yeah, uh, Eve is twenty four, day is twenty five. Yeah, so twenty six we might be free because COVID. But uh, yeah, um, if nothing else, then yeah, we probably won't come back to this campaign until either right after Christmas or next, literally next year. In about fifteen, I'll be home. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't. I'm not gonna give you guys the results of such outcomes right now i'm only giving you guys rough ideas why i think the outcome is probably going to be um and so yeah so until you guys come back and then we have like a session zero which is for the new people to play and then while they're doing character creation i do the stuff for you guys and give you guys your slides and blah 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 blah, blah. so yeah um for the time being just type to me what you want your plans to be and then we'll we'll talk them over and narrow them down as as when we come back but also help keep us uh, get us back into the groove of, of uh this campaign Along the level ups. So yeah. Yeah. Alright, now I change the music. Because we are done with session.